Hey, what's going on everybody? Servo here, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna teach you how you can craft the time bending manuals as quickly as possible and as efficiently as you can. Now, to do this, it is gonna take some time and it's definitely not easy, but I wanted to make this video because I've seen a lot of people in my comment section below saying that they are struggling to get the three components for the manual, which is the ore from Moana, uh, the pink bow, and also the dingle hopper so these items are pretty difficult to get but there is one secret that will actually allow you to get them a lot easier and i'm going to share that with you now if you guys do find this video helpful at all please be sure hit that like button subscribe to the channel you guys have literally been helping my channel explode so much lately and i cannot thank you guys enough so firstly let's go take a look at this time bending manual if you go over here to um potions and enchantment it is right here so it's going to cost you 5,000 dreamlight you need 10 wooden ore, you need a 10 pink bow and 10 dingle hopper. These are the things that are most difficult to obtain and they can be very grindy in the beginning. And uh, yeah, the time bending manuals are pretty costly to make, but you can actually get these easier. So let's take a look at the wooden ore and the pink bow and dingle hopper and let's see how you actually get them. If you go over to your little collections tab, go to eternity aisle, go to time bending. We're going to scroll down and you can see that they are right here so the pink bow if you look at the bottom it says where to find it you can find it anywhere your hourglass has to be well you just have to have an hourglass it doesn't have to be a specific level but there's something here on the right which i think a lot of people are are like not really realizing what it means it's a universe and hangout bonus so mickey and friends so if you want increased chances increase drops on being able to actually find the pink bow you need to have a character follow you around that is from that universe so for instance on the pink bow mickey and friends you could have mickey follow you you could have Minnie follow you you could even have goofy follow you so these are some of the characters you could use for that if you want the wooden ore you need characters from the moana realm to follow you around so moana maui they would be a perfect fit for this and then the last one, the Dingle Hopper, is the Little Mermaid. So if you have Ariel or Eric follow you, um, these would be perfect for that. So you can actually get some Dingle Hoppers to actually drop. So just to show you how easy this is. Oh, there's Ariel right there. Okay. Um, let's have Ariel come with me. I'm going to have her follow me. Alrighty, so we have Ariel with us now. We're going to go ahead and check out one of these biomes and see if we can actually get one to spawn. I picked Frosted Heights because uh, it should be easier for you guys to see when I get it to drop. Of course, it wants, it wants the treasure right there in the middle of my train tracks. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So, first time coming up. We got Mist. Ariel should be around here somewhere. She's a little slow. Oh, there it is. Alright, now let's go check this one over here. So, this will be our second attempt at getting a Dingle Hopper. Uh, open it up. And we got more mist. Okay, let's try once more. I'm gonna do this in real time just so you guys can see how fast uh, you can actually end up getting these. I'm gonna grab this one. And we got a dingle hopper. There we go. And she's gonna duplicate it for me. Now, for me, it's gonna be a lot higher because I mean, I have plus nine. So I just got 10 dingle hoppers from finding that one treasure. And it took us, what was that, our third time? And so that's how it kind of works. Now, the reason I got plus nine is because I do have all of my villagers set up where they are all time benders. So you're going to get increased drop rates, but this will make it easier for you too. So which, what would be a good strategy for doing this? And I know a lot of people have already probably set up the new characters on something else, but if you haven't, the ideal setup for this would be to have your three new characters, Gaston, Eve, and um, Jack Skellington go ahead and make them time benders whenever you get it because it'll be free that way if you if you already put them on something else gardening or whatever it's fine it's no big deal you know it's still what it is but every time you get enough of these resources and you can craft one time bending manual go ahead and craft it and give it to a character because every time you have another character that has this ability it's going to increase your drop rate which is going to make this grind get a lot easier so right now the grind is going to be very slow for you if you're just starting out because you are going to have to find these initial you know like the 10 dingle hoppers the 10 of the ores the 10 of the bows and that's going to take a while but as you start giving more and more characters books this grind is going to get so much easier especially once you get up to like 10 characters and you give them them 
10 books you know you have 10 characters and time bending you're going to be getting duplicate drops and then your character is eventually going to give you like three of the pink bows or three of the ores and then it'll go up to five and then six and stuff so after that once you get past that initial and you get five or six or seven time benders set up you're going to get those increased drops it's going to make the grind so much faster and then you can finish off doing the rest of them so kind of like now i just ended up getting um 10 dingle hoppers with one time so then if i were to go and get something else i would then get you know another 10 so if you're at the point where you're getting four or five to drop every single time it's going to be so much easier to craft more of those books uh, the only thing that's going to prevent you once you get where you have enough characters that can drop these pretty frequently is you're going to not be able to craft as much because of the dream light is very expensive unless you were just super rich but you can see the potential of getting more time benders like this i just i just pulled out one ancient core level three and then she duplicated it and gave me nine and another thing that the more characters that are in the time bending skill um they will duplicate it every single time every single treasure you get you'll get to a point where they will duplicate it and you don't even have to worry about like are they going to or not so like this one i'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and she's gonna duplicate it for me it looks like i'm getting the item of the day yep that thing right there and she gave me nine so i have 10 of that so as you can see it you can get stuff really fast as you keep going but it's gonna take a little while but that's pretty much all there is to know about that and if you guys have questions on a lot of this stuff and the game just didn't ex you know the game doesn't really explain how it does go to your collections and just you can always look at this stuff there's a lot of things that are in this new update that it doesn't explain how to get so like if you ever wanted to get glimmer it says where to find it it is in all of those realms you need a level two hourglass and this works for the other treasures too if you guys are just a little confused on how to get this stuff so uh getting these gifts right here can be a lot more challenging if you didn't know about this little secret so even stuff like the deathly nightshade you would need a universe um hangout bonus or you get a universe hangout bonus from tim burton characters the blue potion you need a character from the universe of the sword and the stone so like merlin would be a good pick the fire extinguisher i'm sure you guys have been getting a lot of these because you probably had uh, eve following you so the universe was for wally so eve and wally obviously and that's how it works paper lantern if you need that you get a hangout bonus from uh, tangled characters so you could get rapunzel uh, the Lion King for the little grubby log. So I hope this helped uh, you guys out. And if you guys have any more questions or you're confused on anything else at all, let me know in the comment section below. And also, uh, this, this will probably be fixed in the future. So if you are someone that's watching this months after I've posted, uh, you can ignore this little bit of information. But as of right now, these little glitchy pixel duplicates are bugged out right now. So if you're thinking to craft them and then and using them to actually go ahead and craft some of these things easier. So like the time bending manual, say I didn't have the pink bow. So you were going to substitute two more pink bows for the little crafting thing. It is currently bugged. And so it's going to take your dream light away. So just keep in mind of that. But like I said, if you're watching this a couple of weeks from now, it's probably fixed i would hope game loft had it fixed so you can just ignore this last little bit of information and um if whenever that stuff does get fixed then if you have some of these extra things then yeah this would definitely help you out because if you're missing some parts you can use these and then get it faster and then one more little tip i can help you uh to give you is the ursula bundle right here if you have not purchased this yet and you're going to one thing that you could do uh where is the sh oh it's the shop over here you get vanessa through this little bundle right so whenever you start this bundle and you do the little quest and you get vanessa you are actually given the option to choose a role so you could assign her to a time bender and it'll be completely free so that'll be one less character that you will have to grind out a book for it doesn't work for the wally bundle because he already has his little perk set up but Ursula, she can't follow you. So that's why whenever you get Vanessa, you'll get that initial, you know, ask what you want her to be. So that's just another little tip. I know that one's going to be very situational for certain people. Not everyone's going to be doing that. But it is just another way to get another free time bender. Now, always go at your own pace with this game. Just because you see someone else on, you know, the internet is doing this. You can definitely just take the game at your own pace. 
I only speed run this stuff because I need to get these guides out there to help you guys with it. And um, so, yeah, I definitely enjoy the ride. It's a fun DLC. We still have a, a couple months before we get some new content. So just take it slow. Enjoy it. And uh, if you want to go a little bit faster, then that is how you collect those items. But thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you guys have the best day and I will see you all in the next one.